Most of our collections are in fact um, held downstairs in the basement. In 1986 the basement was refurbished and it was discovered that there were unknown tunnels down there. The tunnels run for several hundred yards across Clerkenwell and under the green and um, parts of them at least are several hundred years old. We don't know the exact um, purpose for which the tunnels were originally built, although several theories have been put forward. This is um, a room which is devoted to the archives of the GPMU, which is the Graphical Paper and Media Union, which is the, the printing trade unions. And um, we store their archives here, the archives of the organisation. And SOGAT was one of the trade unions that merged with other trade unions, like NATSOPA, to form the GPMU trade union. <laughs> and then the GPMU trade union merged with something else to form Amicus, and then Amicus merged with somebody else to form Unite. So there's been a lot of right. trade unions all merging to form these big super trade unions. And here we can see um, some of the uh, 50,000 um, pamphlets um, which, the, which the library has from all around the world. That they, They've been boxed up in acid-free boxes. The library also has um, 40,000 um, photographs, many of which um, come from the photographic archives of the Daily Worker and the Morning Star newspapers from 1930 and 1966 onwards. So here we've got some of the, um, the minute books of the... Um, of the print trade unions and other archival materials. <laughs> This is the banner of the Graphical Paper and Media um, Union, um, whose um, archives um, we've got um, deposited here. And that was arranged by um, Tony Dubbins, the, the first and only um, General Secretary of the GPMU. And we've put on a, um, a small display here. For instance, there's um, photographs of the, um, the very important uh, whopping dispute in 1986-1987 in the printing industry. Um, uh, and here we have some fake banknotes. Um, these, these were printers, so they found it easy to print off um, fake bank banknotes to um, publicise their, their dispute. And you can see it, so the de denomination is £55, so they couldn't be um, mistaken for real banknotes. We have a few items here from the Spanish Civil War, um, because the, the printing trade unions sent more volunteers out to fight in Spain during the 1930s than, um, than, than, than did any, any other industry. Um, so we've got a few items to commemorate that. For instance, there's a, a collecting tin there to raise money to send out um, an ambulance to Spain. And then next to it is a side panel from the ambulance that was sent out to Spain. And it says, from the workers of Battersea to the defenders of democracy in Spain. And you can tell that it did actually make it out to Spain because there's a couple of bullet holes through, through the metal there. And um, next to it is, um, is a fan that's been signed on the back by quite a few of the volunteers. And at the front, a little aeroplane, a model aeroplane that was made in a Spanish prisoner of war camp. So we've got badges of the various trade unions in the printing industry, the NGA, SOGAT, NATSOPA, and so on. Um, we've got um, certificates of the, um, apprentice, that the apprentices were, were given upon their completion of their apprenticeships in the print, printing industry. Um, we've got a few other items, for instance, this, um, this um, early socialist book that was illustrated by uh, Walter Crane um, within this very building. Um, Walter Crane was famous for his um, children's um, books such as fairy tales um, but he, he also um, illustrated um, books for the, um, the 20th century press, um, books related to socialism and Marxism. The library has always had a very close link with the, um, the printing trade unions because um, the, li the building here was the home of the 20th century press um, for many years, and that was the main sort of socialist and Marxist um, labour movement um, printing and publishing house in Britain. And then um, Fleet Street, of course, where the British newspaper industry was for so many years, was only um, less than a mile down the road. <laughs> For many generations, um, printers have dreamt of having a bringing these trade unions into a single, large trade union. 